Hello, I'm Vito. Um, this is first time for uh, Showcase to include a digital portfolio presentation, so I had to think of something a little bit more creative than just talking about myself for the next five minutes. Um, so just before we get into this, I would like to ask like the audience here, how many of you guys have uh, a digital portfolio or some sort of a presentation of who you are that is accessible online? Cool. So most of the audience do not have it. Um, so my goal today is I want you to I want to peer influence you to do even like a little uh, at least even consider uh, having a digital portfolio. Um, so first of all, what digital portfolio is it's a presentation online. Uh, it, it could be in a form of PDF, a website, an app, or it could even be a game uh, to tell your story. It's an intersection of who you are, what you're passionate about, uh, your values, your identity, and beliefs. And you do that through uh, the intersection also of aesthetics, content, and functionality. Um, so I know that the norm in the professional context is that you um, usually apply with a resume. And yeah, that is perfectly OK. But if you just um, if you want to upscale or um, like a supplementary way um, to tell a little bit more about yourself, because a resume, after all, is just like the previous experiences you have had in your lives. Um, and like a digital portfolio is a perfect fit for that. And speaking of fit, um, it allows you to have a fit between you, your employer, or if you're a G10, you could be a summer school, or like a summer course, a summer program, or if you're a senior, it could be for university admission. Um, so it also is an easy way to, to introduce yourself. Uh, for me personally, I used it in cold emailing. I remember for service learning, I had to find a mentor, and you would just email people you don't really know. Um, so I would just introduce myself in every single email, and that was very, very time consuming. Now I'll be like, okay, here, I'm Vito, just go to my website, check me out, right? Um, so the question here is, how do you actually design your digital uh, portfolio? My driving question was, how do you design your digital portfolio in a way that showcases your work, fashion values, and identity, um, and it is a question that we all need to consider. Um, so I would like to share how I answered this question personally, and hopefully I will influence you in that matter. So first of all is aesthetics. For me, aesthetics was the brand board. How, um, how can we learn about the color theory in order to showcase a little bit of ourselves? For me, it was a combination of colors that every developer um, would recognize. It's colors that are used in integrated developer environments. Um, and the phones also like print at Hello World. Uh, it's just a way that uh, every developer would know that. So it's, it's an intersection of what you want to show aesthetically and also who your target audience is. So you don't have to be a developer to do that. It's just color theory. And then the content. Maybe maybe whoever is looking at the website is not necessarily a developer. I mean, we didn't know what print at Hello World is, and you wouldn't know that this, these colors give tech savvy vibes. Um, so my actual content and my my story um, also also it needs me to reflect a lot about myself um, in a way that I can tell other people about who I am. But also, it doesn't have to be writing. It could be also photos and images. So I really like smiling. Um, it is part of my identity. And I wanted to just show that at the very beginning of my landing page. And by the way, all of you audience have a beautiful smile today. <laughs> and then finally is the dynamic of the pages. So Matt, could you play? Could you click on explore, please? Whee! <laughs> you can put, like, I mean, you could argue you can just, like, scroll down, and, and yeah, that's true. But, I mean, who, who doesn't want a little bit of animation, right? Um, and also, if you go to, like, if you go a little bit down and go to the projects, you can also view more of the projects. Uh, the functionality in general is what buttons, like, the buttons do. It's uh, the user interface. Um, what, what he wants the users in general to, to experience, um, and how you can connect all of that in a way uh, that is understandable. Uh, for me, it was dynamic pages. All of my projects are in a dynamic uh, database, and they're all linked in and connected to, to, together. Um, so in general, like my goal for this is you know you're awesome, but people don't know you're awesome, so you got to know how to market yourself. Um, thank you.